Hello, my name is Steele Norton, and I am joined by my colleagues Madeline Stroji, Dylan Anderson, and Colton Myers. Uh, our spring 2021 honors project uh, is called For the Boys and Girls. Our group's needs assessments covered a variety of topics that focused on the COVID-19 impact, youth exercise, and mental health. Undoubtedly, the pandemic affected every citizen's mental health, especially children who dealt with substance abuse and suicidal ideation. As organizations began reopening, social interaction through sports allowed for a sense of normalcy. As the national lockdown elongated, physical exercise among the youth was limited due to the closing down of parks, gyms, and fields. Many youth in the community, especially in low-income families, were left without a place to get away from their home environments. So after analyzing our needs assessment, supporting the Boys and Girls Club was a perfect project because it addressed each need uniquely. In the Volusia County area, the Boys and Girls Club faced lack of supplies and monetary support that would, that would then cover children's expenses. Because the Boys and Girls Club membership fees are, are relatively low, they rely heavily on donations. So after reaching out to the local Boys and Girls Club, they informed us on their needs for the spring, which included virus combating supplies, sports equipment, and art supplies. So based on our needs assessment, we decided to find a way to support the Spring Hill community during COVID-19 related struggles, like supply shortages. We initially wanted to create a volunteer program at Stetson and the Boys and Girls Club, but restrictions on volunteering due to COVID-19 made it nearly impossible to physically involve the student body. By creating a donation drive for the club, we can help relieve any harm done by supply shortages without breaching any new rules that they had set in place and putting anyone at risk. We spoke to three individuals at the club, including the program director, Joy Bo, the unit director, Althea Shavers, and the area director, Mike Medford. We gained a better understanding of the Boys and Girls Club and their needs from all three individuals were even given a wish list. The list had 19 different items from hand sanitizer to kickballs that the children could play with. COVID-19 related supplies were crucial this year, but the club has also found that they needed activities for the children to do while they were there. We aim to collect all materials as well as monetary donations collected in uh, cash, check, or our Venmo account at BGC Delan to cover anything we may miss or any other needs that will appear in the future. We managed to gain support from the Student Athletic Advisory Committee, or the SAAC, and are currently in the process of establishing our donation drive as an annual event. If there comes another time where in-person volunteering is difficult, the donation drive is one way to continue supporting the community without a constant physical presence. So on the right, we have our flyer that has all our materials we accepted during the drive. I began correspondence with the Boys and Girls Club on February 17th. I received the final wish list on March 9th from Ms. Joy Bow. I did speak with Mr. Mike Medford concerning the nature of the club and some overall needs, but he told me to wait for Ms. Bow and Ms. Althea Shaver's responses since they frequented the Spring Hill Club more often and were more familiar with specific needs. In order to collaborate with the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, also referred to as SAC, we reached out to the men's soccer representative, Dion Petroff, we then contacted the president, Ari Beck, on our behalf. After partnering with SAC, the community began promoting our fundraiser through emails and social media posts, and in hopes to create sustainability in our project, the SAC agreed to carry on our fundraiser each spring and are planning to promote student athlete volunteering. Along with heavy social media presence, our group decided to use flyers to spread the word about our honors project. I was tasked with distributing flyers in public areas such as the library and the cub. I was also able to inform some students and faculty about our efforts while I was putting up these flyers, which allowed us to garner even more awareness for our project. We did tablings at the Carlton Union Building or the Cub every Tuesday from March 16th to 30th from 2 to 3 p.m. where we would collect donated items and cash donations. We ended up moving our April 1st date to April 6th due to a sudden schedule change in our group but we made sure to post this on our social media, told the SAAC and anyone else that we could contact that we have worked with. Uh, my contact number was also listed in case someone needed to arrange a different time to donate or had any other questions concerning the donation drive. We were in the process of finalizing donations for our first annual drive and we were very close to our goal. We are gathering all of the donated supplies and we, re we received as well as a check with our monetary donations and we will be delivering them to the Boys and Girls Club this upcoming Thursday, April 15th. 
So I was responsible for all communication between us and the Boys and Girls Club. I scheduled our cup tablings, um, the date that we deliver our donations and organized how we would advertise the drive. So how we designed the flyer and how we would post on social media, who we would send it to, like the SAC or the intramurals and how they would um, also send those out in an email. In terms of my role, I have overseen reaching out to alumni in the Stetson community, as well as individuals uh, in the greater DeLand area. Uh, I also reached out to the athletic director at Stetson and uh, was able to help him get to get some assistance from the athletic community. Furthermore, I managed supplies and donations received as we were able to collect around $500 in donations, as well as countless supplies. I've been in connection with the Student Athlete Advisory Committee to secure sustainability. And I've also aided in whatever form the group is needed, whether from tabling to communication with possible donations. I've been in contact with multiple alumnas of Stetson. I've also assisted with advertising and obtaining donations. In terms of sustainability, we have been in close contact with Stetson's student advisory or student athlete advisory committee to see if they will adopt the project and make it an annual event. As of the recording of this presentation, the SAAC has not brought the adoption uh, and continuation of our project to a formal vote. However, we are confident that they will vote in favor of this donation drive. If for whatever reason the SAAC decides to uh, go against continuing our project, we would be open to having a future honors project student continue and improve upon our donation drive by upscaling it and hopefully finding an organization that will adopt it for years to come. In terms of learning, one big takeaway that I think we all had from this honors project is just the strength of community here in Deland. Even though COVID has transformed everyone's way of life, students, faculty, and Deland residents received our project very well. Even people who couldn't donate helped us tremendously by just spreading the word. Another thing we learned from this experience was the necessity of good lines of communication. Originally, we wanted to help the local YMCA in addition to the Boys and Girls Club. However, we failed to reach them after multiple attempts. Even with the Boys and Girls Club, our progress was halted due to the inability to effectively communicate. So here's our abstract. Uh, we thank you so much for joining us and listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it and have a good one.